Hey guys, today we're going to look at South America, um, near Raguaguado Lake. I think that's how you pronounce that. Anyway, I see um, a couple things right here. This is actually the clown image, that's his nose and his mouth, and he's screaming. And there's the dog right here, that's where the dog star Sirius, and his ear, the eye, the nose, and the mouth. Pop all the rest on so I can remember myself. Okay, so you see the clown right here. This is the false prophet that goes against the clown. Um, and then the bear is hidden as almost as the clown's ear. The bear is Russia. Actually, on the bottom is this witch thing. It has even has a hat. Like Katy Perry says, so you want to play with magic. You know, witchcraft is coming back, and then the dog star Sirius right there. Translator of Souls. And then right here, it's kind of a monkey. I didn't draw the rest of his body. <laughs> but it's like a monkey, but a big head. Which implies like the alteration almost of mammals, perhaps. Okay. But if we actually zoom in a little bit more, it becomes something else. You see that big five right there? It's for the fifth age coming. Okay, and then you see this alien influence right here. And then the bear is, is right in here, but it's also Islam. The guy with the turban hat. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, for the five for the fifth age. Then the bear inside, and then the guy with the turban hat for Islam, because the red horse is Islam and Russia and China. All of those countries are red, known to be red. He's even got the beard. And the fifth age right here, um, it's like this pirate guy once again with the pirate hat. The ends even look like crab claws. Going against some other thing, some reptilian influence or something. Um, then the leopard right here represents Obama. This is the mask. This is always a face usually in front of the leopard because he's the man of perdition who reveals himself at the end of the age. Here's the clown figure once again. This is also a face right here. Screaming, looks like a lion which usually represents Jesus. And on the bottom left is this guy who's wearing like a helmet thing because he was forced to take the mark of the beast. Um, and then the clowns like come out of him because of that. The New World Order takes out that satanic influence in us right now. But we don't have Jesus, mercy, and grace anymore. See the eagle uh, head? That's the beak. And that's the boat for the rapture. We're going to be translated out of here if you believe enough and if you only have faith, you know, faith and grace versus the law, which didn't really help anyone because everyone's always sinning. So, the law was really actually a hindrance to spirituality because, I don't know, but at the same time, Jesus quotes the Old Testament to show how they interpreted the law wrong anyway. Okay, and the next one. This one's a little complicated. Okay. So we got the guy with the hat right here. Um, and then there's another man right here who looks like the false prophet because there's frogs coming out of his mouth. And then a snake as well. He is the bringer of the snakes. And this guy... A, the guy looking like Willy Wonka is the devil influence coming out of us. And the false prophet replaces it with like a, a reptilian thing. See, there's the guy once again. See right here is kind of like a mask that everyone has to wear. It's like a Mark of the Beast demon mask. We become alter alterated. Somehow. And then this is the clown coming down. Because he's the puppet master, so he has a puppet in his hands. 
trying to go against this, uh, I can't, I couldn't really draw that one, this reptilian influence. See the snake? Just the head at least. I didn't draw that too well. Alright, and then this is the guy with the hat once again, um, messing with the dog star Sirius. See the frog in the false prophet canal? Mixing with the snake as well. And on the right, we just turn into little puppets, like little Oompa Loompas. That's why he looks like Willy Wonka. <laughs> it's all about the New World Order. Despicable me. He had his little minions as well. Okay. is all still the same place just zoomed in all right you see the v for the fifth age right here and it's also like a hitler like figure and there's the front little mustache and there's his little like i don't know head he has like a wound on his cheek or something he's trying to go against the dogs the dog star serious it's like a war against your soul really we're going to turn into this and this is Jesus right here even with the crown of thorns he's going to turn us into this if we didn't believe and on the bottom is the clown figure going against the new trickster rabbit or going into the trickster rabbit or almost being translated together the rabbit is wearing the uh, Cheshire no, the Mad Hatter hat but you can see his ear going out like they're all in it together even though they're going to appear to be going against each other. And see, somehow, are we going to be put into these little matrix pods? And this is actually the image of the beast that gets all of our energy. And that takes the soul. I mean, it's it's set up in such a way is that it's it's pretty solid sometimes. But oftentimes I can't tell which, which picture is which sometimes. But, you know, I'm just getting used to it. I'm very new to all this. Thanks to Mark, you know, seeing stuff just like him. So this is all around here. Right in South America, there's the clown, the nose and the mouth open, and then the dog star Sirius and Maysaw, the false prophet. This is just the outline, the silhouette of him. But once he always wears this ornamental hat, and it just looks exactly like it. And the alien, five for the fifth age because of the book of Daniel, and the Hopi prophecy, and the, the bear inside the Islam hat. For the red horse. This is like a Maleficent uh, witch right here. That's her nose and her mouth and her eyes. Witchcraft is coming back. And then the guy taking the mark of the beast with this weird helmet. Okay. There's Willy Wonka. Little minions. And Balumpas. False prophet with the frog in his mouth and the serpent in his mouth. Okay, and then the V for the Fifth Age being Hitler's hand. The Nazis rising up. They attacked the Jews in World War II. World War III, it's going to be the Christians. Trying to turn us into these little things. And give the soul to some little entity. And then Jesus is all set up by Jesus. It's not the devil setting this up. This was the plan of God. 